Hello, Taurus, and welcome to your 2023 January forecast. Happy New Year. I am so excited for you guys. It is going to be an amazing year, even though as we walk into 2023, you're probably feeling like you're crawling into the new year. You're not leaping into it. You're crawling. Everybody's crawling because Mars is still retrograde. We're going to get to that. Mars will turn direct. But first, as the new year begins, there is a full moon in Cancer that happens on the 6th. And that full moon occurs in your, in your third house of communication and the mind. And so this could be an ending to some kind of communications endeavor. Maybe you're finishing up a course, a class. Maybe you are finishing a book and you're ready to, you know, get to work on releasing it. Maybe you're done with a contract and you're about to get out of that agreement. Anything communications related, there's going to be a turning point to it for you. It is something that makes you very emotionally aware of and you're finishing this up. Then on the 12th, Mars does finally turn direct. Mars has been retrograde in your second house of livelihood, earned income, and your self-worth profile since October 30th. Now that Mars is going direct, you are finally going to see that you're, you are in a position of your power being restored in terms of your livelihood, how you go after making money and your possessions and what you do with your money. So there's been an important course correction for you, Taurus, with finances over these last few months. You've had to decide and become more consciously proactive about where you're spending your money, how you're making your money. Being retrograde in the sign Gemini suggested multiple revenue streams, multiple options for you with how to make money, and you kind of had to decide to focus on something, narrow things down, and put your attention to what makes you feel like you are delivering the most value. So you've been doing that over the last several months during the retrograde, and after January 12th, Mars is going to go direct, and you're going to get this push now this motivation to just go after a money-making goal and crush it. And you will because you're a Taurus and that's how you roll. So that is happening for you after January 12th. Then Mercury will station direct in your ninth house of beliefs on the 18th. Mercury went retrograde here on the 29th of December. And the ninth house is your house of spirituality, beliefs, philosophy, it is also connected to anything international, anything that has to do with the legal world as well. So any kind of pause or stall in one of these areas is now going to move forward, but you've also been reevaluating your beliefs a little bit. Not that your entire philosophy, worldview, or religion necessarily had to change during this Mercury retrograde, but there is something about your perspective where you have recognized that perhaps there is a better way to think about something, to approach something in a more strategic manner because the Mercury retrograde occurred in Capricorn. So whatever this is for you, you're, you've realigned your thought process and being open to this shift in thinking is going to serve you well. So you're implementing these new ideas, this new philosophy, this new thought pattern, after Mercury turns direct. It is also possible that any delays that you've experienced in a publishing matter, advertising, broadcasting venture, or an international business matter is now going to melt away. There's no more delay and it's just progress at this point. Then on the 21st, there is a new moon that occurs in your career sector. And Taurus, this is a very serious new moon. This new moon means business. It is occurring at the early degrees of Aquarius, but the very next day, there will be an exact Venus-Saturn conjunction in the same area of your chart. And that tells me that whatever it is that you're initiating connected to your professional goals and growth, number one, it has staying power, Number two, it is really going to establish you as an, a respected authority in your industry because Saturn is all about being the seasoned professional when it is in your 10th house. So you've gone through an important phase over the last two and a half years with Saturn moving through your 10th house connected to mastering your career path and 
addressing your goals with sobriety, maturity, discipline, responsibility. And if you've been doing that work, Saturn does want to reward you, Taurus. And at this new moon, I do believe that you're going to see the, the fruits of your labor. You're initiating something professionally, but really whatever you're initiating is connected to the bigger picture of you've been working on your career path for the past two and a half years in a very structured, responsible way. And now you know your stuff. Now you're ready, you're qualified to initiate this new path, this new opportunity, whatever it is for you. And it looks amazing. So Taurus, happy 2023. Make the most of this year and I will see you next month.